A very successful championship Tuesday for the Gonzaga men and women here in Las Vegas. Both of them victors, the women beating BYU 71 to 59. The Gonzaga men beating St. Mary's 82 to 69. A great night for both programs, a great night to be a Zag fan. Yeah, a whole lot of confetti dropping and a lot of fans happy here today for sure. Uh, on the men's side, a uh, huge night from the back court for Gonzaga. Mm -hmm. Normally it's the front court that's doing the business with Chet and Drew, but tonight it was the guards. 19 for Andrew Nemhard, 18 for Razier Bolton, and 16 for Julian Strother. I'm not going to lie, I didn't see that coming no. in this one. No. Uh, that is a great development for this Gonzaga team if they are able to also have that attack with their guards mm -hmm. when. You know, Drew Timmy and Chet Holmgren are maybe not having the greatest nights of all time. They, they ended up having okay nights, but right. still not up to their normal standards, I would exactly, say. Yeah. Uh, but that's a great de development for this team going into the tournament and, you know, being able to also rely on their backcourt in times of need. Definitely. And come March, there's always a game, maybe even two in the tournament, where you're not going to – a team's going to specifically stop the strongest point of your team and you have to step up and fight through it and that's exactly what they did tonight. So a little experience there before March Madness rolls around and I think the men's game, one thing we should touch on is mm -hmm. Anton Watson. Yes. He has, Mark Few said in the press conference after the semifinals win against USF, he said Anton's that spark off the bench that really makes a difference for Gonzaga and we saw it again tonight. So we said two consecutive good games out here. Yeah, 10 points for him. He was very solid out there both mm -hmm. offensively and defensively. He was in a slump at the end of the season. Yeah. I am willing to declare that slump over. <laughs> uh, it's done between the last, you know, last two games uh, against USF. He had eight points and 10 rebounds. Mm -hmm. So two very good WCC tournament game yeah. games here for him and uh, we'll see where that leads him. Uh, at the next level. Yeah. 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 And uh, as far as Gonzaga, we got to talk about the women's game yes. as well. Yes. Obviously, big win for them. And uh, Post Falls native Melody Kempton named the tournament's MVP. So, yes. big time for her. And uh, by the way, Andrew Nemhard was named the men's yes. tournament yes. MVP, in case you were wondering about that. <laughs> uh, 15 points for her. She was very instrumental down a key stretch of this game to get Gonzaga up by 10 points on BYU at the beginning of the fourth quarter. And Gonzaga never relinquished any sort of lead, never really let BYU get close yeah. after that. This one was huge because of the fact that BYU has really had Gonzaga's number this year. Absolutely. And Gonzaga, let's not forget, they were on the bubble yes. heading into the WCC tournament on the bubble. The win in the semifinals felt like, okay, they're in the tournament now, mm -hmm. but now guaranteed you win the tournament, so you're in. Yes, absolutely. And they also talked about that a little bit post game. Um, Kaylin Trong mm -hmm. saying, or maybe it was Kaylee. I'm sorry, I confused the two of them. So they look, oh my gosh, it's 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 difficult, guys. Yes. Um, uh, said that uh, you know they they wanted to. They talked before the game that they wanted to have their fate in their own hands, and they did not want to have to leave it up to a committee of people. And they came out here today. They achieved that, and that's just absolutely massive for this Gonzaga women's program. And remember. We're going to get back to back selection shows on yeah. Sunday instead of selection right. Sunday and selection Monday this year because the uh, NCAA committee moved the selection Monday to selection Sunday so that it would be more equal between the women and men. Right. And for you watching this right now, the men, that's at 3 p.m. Sunday. And you can watch that right on our station, Krim. Yes. It's on CBS. And then uh, the women, I believe, 5 o'clock yep. is when that one begins. So Yes. Uh, in years past, mm -hmm. they have let us be with the women for their selection. So I would imagine we will be in the room with them during our five o'clock show that day. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be able to see their reaction to whatever seed they end up getting. Of course, they're going to be going kind of far away, but the Gonzaga men, they are going to be in Portland. Yep. They're going to be the number one overall seed and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun covering them throughout their tournament run. Yeah, definitely fun stuff. It's that time of year. Yes. And by the way, we're not done here in Vegas. I'm staying down here. Uh, I will be at W Shoes game tomorrow, or if you're watching this today, uh, <laughs> against Cal uh, at six o'clock at the Pac-12 tournament. So be sure to keep with us as yeah. we continue to cover West Coast basketball descending upon Vegas this week. We are working on a few other things yeah. along the way. So we're going to have more content from this trip as we keep going. Uh, so make sure to continue to tune in as we continue to bring you coverage from Sin City. Absolutely. Hey, let's not forget WSU women.
Yes. Also, we're talking about WSU. The oh. women probably in the tournament. They're in. In the tournament. They're in. We we need to wait and see, but they are in. They're in. They're in. I'm not. I'm not. I'm yeah. not worried about them whatsoever. Yeah. But for now, yeah. we're gonna see you all in the YouTube's later. <laughs> Bye.